F equals MA is the generic expression for Newton's second law. Now, what is the F acting on this body? The F acting on that body is its weight. And when I let it go, what is its acceleration? It has a certain mass m. Its acceleration is g. So these two equations, you see, this the generic one, f equals ma all over the universe, so we think, and w equals mg for earth-dwelling creatures who wish to look at the weight of a body. So you can see that if I double the mass of any body, I would at once double its weight, and its acceleration remains unaltered, which is a sort of explanation why all bodies have the same free-fall acceleration as Galileo showed in the 17th century. <clears throat> now, this is quite remarkable, because one is led to think, why? I can't believe that this one will not fall faster than this one, and this subject is taken up very excellently by Galileo in his dialogues concerning two new sciences, where I urge you to read the discussion between Sagredo and Salviati and Simplicio. Now, <clears throat> there are some further implications of the second law which have some levity. <clears throat> I like physics in cartoons, and here is a cartoon that I recently saw. Here is a little boy, and uh, there is a bathroom scale, and here is another little boy, and they weigh, by all looks of things, about 70 pounds. Now, it's obvious what has happened. This one jumps down onto the scale. And what is the caption under the picture? Wow, he says, wow, 140. You can see that this is Newton's second law. F equals mg plus ma because of the force delivered through its acceleration to the scale. And I think that's terrific. <clears throat> Let's consider another such problem. <clears throat> Here is a smooth pulley fixed, say, to a solid beam up there. And here is a rope over the pulley. And here one man stands holding the rope. And here an identical weighted man stands holding this rope. And they are both on the ground. <clears throat> Question. The man A climbs the rope. B just holds on. He just stays there. Question. What happens to B? Answer. B gets a free ride. For whatever A does is felt by the rope and in turn by the man. And so, this is really Newton's second law. Two men on a pulley. Now, a more dramatic event. Much more dramatic. Here is a scale which reads from zero to 2,000 grams, and I put a 1,000 on it, and clearly the scale reads a 1,000. If I put 2,000 on it, at rest, remember, at rest, the scale reads 2,000. Now what am I going to do? I am going to put the scale on a horizontal plane on that board in such a fashion with a pulley here and a rope and a pulley here and a rope, and I'm going to put 1,000 there and 1,000 right there so that I have 1,000 pulling to the right and 1,000 pulling to the left. I'm going to do that right now. There's a thousand on the right, and I've got to hold that. Now I get over here, and I put a thousand on the left, and then I cover it over, as I like to say, for my students, so that evil eyes do not see it. And remember now, we ask the classic question. <clears throat> when I had a thousand on the scale in the vertical line, it read a thousand. When I put two thousand on it in the vertical line, it read two thousand. We want to know, what does the scale now read? Thousand pulling to the right, thousand pulling to the left. Several answers. One. Oh, says somebody, it reads zero, since the forces annul each other. No, no, says somebody else. A thousand to the right, a thousand to the left, it reads two thousand. And I must tell you that whatsoever your point of view, these are both wrong. So, I could leave it as an exercise for you to do. But since I have a kind heart, I will tell you that the scale reads 1,000 grams. But having told you this, I urge you very seriously to explore 
why that is so. One further little comment. Oh, I want you to see another picture of Newton. I showed an earlier photograph in his later years, and here is one as a young man, 17 years old, when he entered Trinity College in Cambridge, a genius the like of which the human race has not yet again seen. One last experiment. <clears throat> Newton's second law. Here I am going into an elevator on the ground floor. The push of the floor of the elevator when it rests is my weight plus the weight of the bag. Now the elevator accelerates upward. You know what happens. Your knees buckle and the load is pulled out of your hand. No, 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 not pulled. It wanted to stay at rest. It was at rest and that's what it tried to do. But what is the explanation of the added tension in my arm and the bending of my knees? Answer, F equals MG plus MA. Now the elevator is on an uppermost floor and starts down. You know what happens? Your belly feels empty. F equals MG minus MA. And so we have a better understanding of the laws that envelop us by applying the laws of Newton. And I thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.